Good morning, learners. How are you all? I hope you are blessed and highly favored. I will still congratulate you guys that you are doing a great job and make sure you keep it up. Okay? Good. Today, we are going to look at different indicators. Now, we are done with writing figures in words and words in figures. Today, we are looking at something new. And today, our indicator is place and place value. Place and place value. When we talk about place and place value, we are, it's just a, something simple that we are going to learn. When we talk about the place, the place is the name given to the position of a digit. So it tells you that in mathematics, every position of a digit has a name, and that is known as the place. Then when we talk about the place value, we are talking about the amount of the digit at a given position. That's the meaning of the place value the amount of the digit at a given position good so if you look at the example that i have over here i have about seven digits over here and each seven digit has a name depending on the position that that digit lies so if you start from your right which is the nine is at a place known as the ones or units when you move to the next number is five or the five and it's the tenth then you move to the next one which is the one hundred after the hundred you move on to the two which is the thousand after the two is eight which is ten of thousands then the next one is four hundreds of thousand then the last one on your left is what million good so these are the names given to what each of the digits provided. Now let's quickly look at how to write the place value of each of the digits over here. So we are going to have the place value at this place. I'm going to start from the 9. The 9, its place value is the same as 9 because it is what? Once. Then you move on to the five, which is what? Tens. Tens. So the tens means what? Times ten. Times ten. But I have to make it simple for you. This is what happened. If you want to write the place value for the tenth number, then the five, its place value is going to be what? 50. Why 50? You write a five and the digit behind it, you just change it to zero. Then we move on to the one which has what? At the hundred. So what will you do? You write the one and the two digit behind it, which is the ten and the ones will change to what? Zero. Good. So we have what? One hundred. We move on to the two. You write the two. Now we have three digits behind it. One, five, nine. Change all of them to zero. You change them to zero. You have your two thousand. You move on to the next number, which is the eight. So we write your 8, then the 4 digit changes to 0, so we have it like this. So that is tens of thousand. so you put your comma over there, 80,000. Then you move on to the hundreds of thousand, which is what, the 4. So you get what, 400,000. Because when you write the 4, all the rest of the digits will change to, and the last one is the 3. You write the 3. How many did it behind? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All the 6 digits behind will change to 0. So we have 6 digits behind it. You bring your comma nicely. So we have what? 3 million. This is just place and place value. So on that note, we we'll draw our curtain for today's lesson. If you want to get more understanding of this lesson, make sure you play it several times. As we have been doing the assignment to be given to you, make sure you do it and snap it and send it to me on WhatsApp. See you in the next class. Bye bye.